Hi everyone, this is Katie Carney and this is my floss tube number 65 and this is Katie Stitching. Uh, I hope that you're all well. It's the 31st of May. I can't believe that we are... Hang on, let me turn my fan off so you can hear me. It is very hot here, so um, I have the little fan going on me and then I have the air conditioning going in the back room that I'm not turning off. Um, it hit 94 here today, I think. So it is, like I said, not at all cool. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Uh, it's bound to happen this time of year. Um, hang on just one second. Let's see if I can get a better angle. Okay, and I am actually recording. I hope to not have to record this twice like I did last week. I think that's a little better. Uh, although now you can't see my Lindy Stitches piece right there. Um, Anyway, like I said, this is my floss tube number 65. It has been two weeks since I recorded. Um, it's been a good two weeks. Uh, two weeks ago, Mark and I went to Philadelphia. We saw a we saw the orchestra. We went down on a Friday and stayed until Saturday after the orchestra. And it was 100 degrees with like 80% humidity and a one to five on the air quality scale, it was five, it was very bad. Um, I think Mark was trying to kill me. We walked 10 miles. Um, at one point I cried. Um, my heart does not deal well with <laughs> the big heat and it was just, it was all just too much. Um, so that was the weekend after I recorded the last time. And then last weekend was Memorial Day weekend. Um, so it's Tuesday, the 31st. And yesterday was Memorial Day. Um, I took Fra to a Memorial Day event. I usually go to one every year, but this year I took her. Um, we went to one at where I went to high school. There's a veterans park there. And it was not my favorite of the events I've gone to. This one, it was the big one in the city, and it just felt very political. Um, the head of the Scranton VFW was the speaker, or like the MC of the event, and he just, he seemed to really be like, you know, he just kept saying how wonderful the mayor was, and it was just, it felt very like, all the speakers were local politicians, and I was just like, really? Today? But what are you gonna do? Um, and then we went for lunch, and I went to the bookstore for her and got myself several things. And then I went to Joanne's, and I'll show you my haul in a little bit. Um, so let's get to my stitching. So the last time I saw you, I was very close to finishing um, my monthly sampler, and this was the April sampler. Um, I have not started May, so I am behind, but uh, I did finish it. This is not ironed. It's on 16 count Ada. This is from Vicki Clayton Silks. It's a, she had a random, um, dyed 16 count Ada mystery that you could buy. So, I love the little bunnies and the little duckies. So cute. Um, so I really like this one. I did change the color of the word April. It's supposed to be in white. And I did mine in um, the teal color. It's so using the DMC conversion. And I have to go in and I'll add all of the like little eyes on these projects when I finish all of them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get them all done this year. But I am a third of the way done, so that's good. I just don't, I work on big projects at night, so my smalls are, are sadly neglected. So the next one when I get to it will be May. And May is very cute. May has little bees. Oh, hang on, I'll just take it out. I'm right next to, this is a window here, um, so the glare is kind of bad, but it's evening, so there we go. So that's May. Um, over the weekend, 
over Memorial Day weekend, all of the windows in this house have shades. Levelor or something, whatever, shades. Fra loves them. I have hated them since we moved in. You pull it up and it, and then it comes down and it goes all the way to the floor or they get stuck, the springs break, they rip. Um, I've never liked them. Part of that is because the house isn't level and with shades, if your house isn't level, they don't work. So the weekend Mark and I went to Philly, he put the air conditioning in, in my back bedroom where I don't sleep anymore, but where I used to sleep before Fran moved downstairs. And I was just going to sleep on an air mattress until we got a plug put in the new room I sleep in. Um, Cause Mark got me like a really nice air mattress and I don't care as long as I sleep in the air conditioning. Um, so I slept on that for one night and then he is an electrical engineer. So he actually put a plug in for me. Um, he changed the plug, he changed the socket. And then he got me a really fancy air conditioner for my bedroom that has like an app. <laughs> I can turn it on and off on my cell phone. I love that thing. Um, so, when he put up both of the air conditioners, the shades and those windows, one of them sprang off the hinge thing that was holding it on and like attacked him. And the other one just fell all the way to the floor. So I've been thinking about buying blinds for at least this room and my old bedroom, which is three windows for years. Um, and I just never did it. Um, Fra likes shades and I didn't feel like having the argument and I didn't want to spend the money and I knew I'd have to change the hardware. But after that, I was just like, all right, I got to do it. So I did blinds in my new bedroom, my old bedroom and in here. So I bought five windows worth of blinds, got the wrong size, <laughs> the long, wrong length the first time. And so I took them back and I exchanged them, except for the one that I had already put up, which is a little too short, but that's fine. Um, our windows, everything, it had to be screwed on the outside of the window in a piece of wood around the frame that my grandfather had put in. And of course, <laughs> I don't have a drill, so I had to do it by hand with a screwdriver. My hands hurt so bad, and then I just couldn't get the a lot of the screws in all the way. They're out a little bit. So I'm going to come home one day, and the blinds are going to be on the floor, and I'm going to start again. But it is what it is. Um, what are you going to do? Sorry, it's really hot, and it makes me thirsty. Um, so yeah, and then I also made curtains out of an old sheet for my new bedroom windows. They're just white cotton. Um, but I got new like cotton bedding from, it's called Under the Canopy. So it was a little bit of a uplift because God knows when I'll get the quilt done. I was gonna work on the quilt this weekend. But by the time I got the blinds put up, I was, I was done. But anyway, that's not why you're here. Let's look at my other whips. <laughs> so when I finished that small, I started another one. And that is, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, and it is Halloween Town, and I'm stitching this for a friend, and I am not doing this part. I am using a 14 count murky with the DMC either called for or conversion if it called for a fancy floss. The colors, I have this in my um, big Bitsy Bob bag from Kelly Stadola. Um, I've showed this before, but I put the colors right there, taped them on, and then a small project fits perfectly right here. It's great. Although, where is the project? Hang on, I've lost my cross stitch. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. All right, here it is. So this is on 14 count murky, like I said, using DMC. And then this time, I've done these for myself. Um, I haven't finished them, but I've done them. I've made mine into three, this will be one. But the white on this, it's glow in the dark thread. So all the light on, like when you turn the lights out, you can still see the white. And it does work, I tested it. So I thought that was really cool and just a fun thing. Here are the colors. They are a mess. And then, 
The glow in the dark thread is just the DMC E940. It's really easy to stitch with. I thought it might be a problem like a Krynic, but really, really easy. So I'm almost done the bakery. Um, and then I did most of the black at the top and a lot of the white. I don't know why. That's just how I, how I was working on it, you know? So that's that. That's my, I turned the fan back on. Hang on. It's just so hot. It's 90 some degrees. Um, so anyway, that is a fun little, um, small that I took some good time when I first started stitching it. And then I think tonight, I don't have anything to work on until Consider the Lilies tomorrow. If I stitch tonight, I'll work on that. Giant, giant, it's bigger than my head, cup. But gotta, gotta drink a lot of water because I have a heart condition. <laughs> All right, next. I am working on, this is an Arika bag. I love these bags, they are huge. Um, this is, let's see, Celtic. Celtic Autumn. So that's the original. This is by Lavender and Lace. But I am doing the Little Cat conversion, which is more, in my opinion, autumnal colors. And I got a good amount done on this. So this uses DMC. Um, a million different colors of DMC here, but they are just, they are delicious autumn colors that I just love. And then the gold, I am doing a, this is just DMC metallic thread. And I just use one strand. Um, I do not like working with Krynik. And since I have to specialty order Krynek from like 123Stitch, I would much rather just use what I can get at Joann's. And it's cheaper. And I don't have to pay shipping. So when I picked this up after I finished Consider the Lilies, I had the this, this side over here of the border was completed and then this side I had completed to about here so I finished the border all the way look at those colors and then I spent a few days working on the dress so I started the dress I got about a thousand stitches in on the dress so gorgeous look at the oranges um for me with this pattern it because there's so much gold thread in it i'm actually using putting the gold thread in and then filling in because the main color seems to be that gold thread um i don't know if that's going to come to bite me later but that is what i've been doing and i think so, so far the dress looks really really good i love it love it love it love it um so i will pick this back up after i finish the next part of consider the lilies so there it is and um in vana's last video she said to go watch the virginia stitcher because she was doing a lot of like lavender and laces and a lot of um like told in the gardens well, mostly lavender and lace. So I did, and I watched like 10 episodes. <laughs> I binged. Um, but she said she does not iron her projects before floss tubes because she doesn't want to press her stitches. And I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to tell my viewers that's why I don't iron. <laughs> it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I don't want to press my stitches flat. <laughs> so there's that. And then um, I decided after working on 
I got, I knew where I wanted to stop on that. And I said, if I get to that stopping point at the end of last week, over the weekend, when I know I'm going to be doing some sewing, I'm going to work on what I consider a palette cleanser, something easy. I don't have to concentrate too hard on it. I can come back and forth to it. I don't need to highlight anything. And for me, those projects are um, Country Magic Stitch. So I pulled out Welcome to Hogwarts on Friday morning, Friday, Friday evening, I think I pulled it out. And I put on the first Harry Potter movie and I started stitching. So I had the first page of this project done. I am using 18 count Ada, two strands, tent stitched, and the called for DMC. And I have a knot. I love the DMC colors. I love the blues and the purples and the gray. They're just, they're that muted colors that I really, really like. So there they are. They are a mess. Um, I think that that's what happens when you use floss drops because you're, um, when you pull just a single strand out, but I, uh, I, like I said, love the colors. And here I stayed up last night stitching until 9.45, which I never do. I'm lucky if I stitch till eight o'clock the last few months, but I decided I wanted to get halfway done <laughs> and so I watched like I said I had them on like why I was hanging the drapes or uh, the blinds and the drapes and making the drapes but I watched the first six Harry Potter movies decided executive decision that I was not emotionally stable enough for the seventh and the eighth um, and here we are so when I stopped I was Oh, probably, oh yeah, I was right about here. So, oh, you can kind of see actually. So I got a lot done over the weekend. Um, I did this in hand and I, you can kind of tell um, the next part I'm going to do in a hoop again. The first half I had done in a hoop. Or maybe on a scroll rod, I can't remember. But this one, I was like, well, I'll just do it in hand. It's easy. And so much of it was this blue at the top, the sky. Um, and like, you guys are on top of it. But like from afar, I don't think it looks bad at all. So this is Welcome to Hogwarts. I had kicked around. So let me take out the chart. It says welcome to Hogwarts at the bottom, just like the Shire says welcome to the Shire at the bottom and welcome to, hers all say welcome to and then what it is. And I thought about leaving welcome to Hogwarts school off and then I was like, no, I think I'm going to leave it on. Um, you can see I still have a long way to go and I think that uh, the cliffs there are going to be not fun but Hogwarts is done and I get to look at that every time so that's that and there there it is again so pretty and I can't tell a lie guys that's all I've stitched on um I mean it's four projects so I mean it's nothing to really sneeze at they're big projects um and I do have some plans and some haul. So let's look at that. So first off, um, as you guys know, sorry, I can't say no to Heartstring Sampler. And she sent an email out for her um, small samplings collection. And I've done one of them already. And this is Janet Haig Pratt, 1883. Here, let me take it out. So I did buy the full kit. They're not that expensive, um, fully kitted. So there's that. 
The model is stitched on a 32 count weeks gray and then it uses four colors of DMC. And so here is the very pretty weeks gray. She gave you a ring for your floss and then a postcard of the original. Um, and then she gave you floss drops and they are all different pictures of the sampler. So that was very sweet and then here's the DMC colors. So the last one I did it came with fancy floss. Um, I'm good with this one not coming with fancy floss. I'm sure it has something to do with supply chain issues and how much she was able to sell. Um, I don't know how quickly this one went. I got it as soon as the email came out that it was available. I just did it because it's the colors I like, which are pink and green. And I think it's very, very pretty. I'll probably leave the name off the bottom just because, um, but we'll see. I'm going to put it back in the baggie because if I don't, I'll have pattern all over. And since it's all kitted and ready to go, I definitely want to keep it all together. And then um, my friend Jen, um, she got it also. And I think we're going to start it together. I don't know when. She has a lot of whips, but she doesn't mind having a lot of whips. So I'm sure she's just waiting for me to say it's time to start it. Then I have been in the mood to kit up. Um, so I did. I had a, I've had coupons for like Michael's for floss, 25% off. And then there was the great um, Memorial Day sale at Joann's. So first I decided to kit up Farmer's Market by... Is this told in a garden or butternut? I think it's told in a garden. Let me look at the pattern. That'll tell me. Doesn't tell me. It's just got uh, Marilyn's name on it. I'm pretty sure these are told in the garden. Anyway, sorry. That's the actual project. I am either going to use a 14 count Ada from Zweigart that I got at, that I've had from Hobby Lobby, or a 20 count Ada, it's either going to be very big or very small, and this is vintage country mocha. And I just went to Michael's and kitted it up. There's a lot of colors. And then they didn't have two of them, so I got the Anchor version. Um, I need to download the DMC Anchor conversion chart so I have it. But that's a, that's a future Katie problem. I don't know when I'm going to start this, but it will definitely be the next one that I do after I finish the one I'm currently working on that I probably won't work on for six months. Um, I used to run a farmer's market. Uh, it was a buy fresh, buy local. Um, all of our vendors had to live within like a 30 mile range. Um, local farms, um, both produce and meat. We had, uh, they still have, I just don't go anymore. It was difficult for me to go. But anyway, um, meat, cheese, eggs, uh, produce, wine, cider, the whole thing. Um, and of all the jobs I've had, running the farmer's market was so much fun. Like, I love my current job. I liked my last job. Um, but, and the job I had before that when I was working in revitalization was very difficult. But the farmer's market, I felt very passionate about. So, um, that's why I want to do farmer's market next. And then, that same day, I felt like... I don't have any Butternut Road kitted up, so I decided to do this one. It's another Christmas one. This is, oh, it's no, it's not. It's Once Upon a Time. I thought it was Christmassy, but it's not. 
It's Once Upon a Time. Again, I don't know when I'll start it. Here's the DMCs, so pretty. Don't have fabric yet. And the one DMC they didn't have, I got the anchor. So that's another thing I kitted. But wait, there's more. I have had for several years uh, Rocio Cocohama Stitcher who kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. I miss you, Rocio. She got me for my birthday one year my unicorn, which is Lila's Studio Let Freedom Ring. And she got me the pattern itself, and then she got me a few of the uh, called for fancy flosses, Calico Kitty, Endive, for, and Forest Glade, and one other one, Freedom. And so I figured I had like a million more fancy flosses to buy. It turns out other than those colors, it calls for DMC. So Quirks and Stitches and her mom are working on these. They're each doing it. It's Philadelphia where Mark and I go all the time. Uh, it's huge. It's another huge project. <laughs> but I decided to kit it up. So I went to Joanne's. They had one of those too low to show floss sales. And I bought the DMC for it. They didn't have a couple. That's okay. I will pull them. I do have them in stash, I'm sure. So I got that. And what I'm going to do is, hang on one second. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I am going to start this on July 4th. I have to figure out the fabric that I'm going to use. It calls for, what is it, 20 to 40 will be 20 count Ada, although I don't know how you can use Ada because I think there's specialty stitches in this. This sampler is not suitable for stitching on Ada's. There are one over one cross stitches. It is recommended you make working copies. So. 40 count Ada, it'd be 15 by 11. 36, it'll be 17 by 13. Um, so I, I might try to do like 40 count because otherwise it'll be too big. But it's a lot of pages. 15, no, 16. It's 16 pages. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start it on the July 4th and then... I think I'm going to do what I did with Consider the Lilies, is do one page and then move on to another project. And that's actually, hang on, let me show you another thing. Most disjointed video ever, sorry. That's actually my plan once Consider the Lilies is done in October for the Prayer of St. Francis by... I don't even remember who this is by. Oh. Big Toe Designs, but they are, it's a band sampler, so my plan is to do a band a month, or maybe two, until it's done. So I have my two next, like Consider the Lilies has been my focus, and then I've had something else to work on for the rest of the month. I have my next several projects. I might do, um two rows a month because it's two four six seven eight nine ten twelve thirteen fourteen seventeen twenty three it's like twenty three bands but this one is huge um that one is going to take me months <laughs> but i might do two a month uh, we'll see but anyway that's my plan is to those are my two next big monthly focuses. Um, and then flag day is June 14th and I bought this several years ago from Heartstring Samplery also. And it's flag day at Twin Gables. It's a small pillow. And I got the, I just dropped it on the floor, but I got the anchor floss for that. I kind of regret that now that I've done it because <laughs> gonna have to it's a printed out pattern so I'll just write down what color anchor it is 
Um, I just want to try to use the anchor a little more and see if I like it. And I'll be honest, I almost, if I had somewhere to store it, um, by the way, if you have anchor floss, how do you store it? Um, they were 40 cents each, which is half price yesterday at Joann's. I almost bought one of each, just almost did it. Um, but I had fraud in the car, and again, I don't have any way to store it, so I didn't. But anyway, please tell me what your method of storing anchor is. Um, I'm sorry that this has been such a disjointed video. You know how I am. Um, I hope you're all well. Thank you for all your comments and your friendship. Stay safe. Keep stitching. Uh, Vanna, if you and Katie happen to watch this before the big day next week, or even after, congratulations, Katie, on... Uh, your beautiful wedding and Vanna watching you put this wedding together one obviously if I ever get married my mom will not be helping and uh, it's beautiful watching all that you're doing for Katie um, you are from the Midwest which my mom was too and my mom's family still lives in Ohio so it's been so pleasant watching all the things that you do um, for the wedding. It's very much like what my cousins have in Ohio have done for theirs. So it's really been pleasant to watch people who still use a church hall or a fire hall at their church to get married instead of here where people spend, you know, $25,000, dollars $75,000 to get married in a ballroom and, you know, have this huge debt when, you know, you're giving you all and Katie and her fiance are doing this beautiful thing. So anyway, um, I didn't mean to go off on that tangent. Thank you for letting me see a little bit of the Midwest. Anyway, hope you're all well. Stay safe. Keep stitching. Mwah. Bye.